Hello friends and welcome back to the Gamer Down. This is your host, Dark Hostess. And today we're looking at Midnight Mysteries, The Salem Witch Trials. And this game is what you call a hog. And I don't mean it's a little piggy. This game is a hidden object game. So think Where's Waldo? If you're wondering what a hidden object game is. Uh, Basically, you're giving a, given a list of objects, and then the main objective is to find them in the room. And this is a really great game. Uh, it does the hidden object game better than anyone else. Let me let you enjoy this very cool intro here. This game is by Mumbo Jumbo, and they've made several HOG games over the, over the years, and they've improved uh, with each game. They really have. They've streamlined their uh, puzzles, and uh, things are more intuitive. In this game, you're investigating the death of Nathaniel Hawthorne, a famous author who died in a mysterious snowstorm. You'll probably notice that there's a uh, no voice acting in the game, but that, I think that's intentional. Uh, the sound effects are so amazing that it, w it would probably ruin the game if voice acting was implemented. Uh, it's it's kind of like leaves more to your imagination, and I, I kind of like games like that that leave a little bit to your imagination and don't over explain things. And the setting and, and the graphics are just amazing, you know, for setting the mood. But the sound effects are probably one of the best things about this game. If you noticed, I picked up a pen off the table, which was glowing sparkly green. And uh, the very first part of the game is a bit of a tutorial to show you how to play. And in many puzzles of this game, you'll have to combine objects, like, for instance, a pen, an empty pen with a thing of ink. So, with a, you know, you, you combine it and you have a full pen, you know. It's easy enough. I mean, this this game is not a hard game. This game is is quite easy. So it's not gonna break your brain. And anyway, with your full pen, you give it to the author. And that's like a lot of the puzzles in this game. You have to combine objects and uh, give them to the ghosts. And here's the part, of the hidden object part of the game right here. And you're given a list of items, and you must look around the room for these items and you know uh, th this is very enjoyable like I said it's a very casual game and it's the spooky kitty comes to get you ha 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 and uh, this this game is very enjoyable uh, there's you know th you're not in a huge rush to finish this game by any means uh, you're you're left at your own leisure to enjoy and the graphics and the sound effects and to read everything you know, this this is not a game you want to rush. It's the type of game you want to kick back in a dark room, maybe, and play at your own leisure. Each hidden object you collect gives you a little bit of a clue to the story of the game and the mystery as you try to solve Nathaniel Hawthorne's demise in the snowstorm. And uh, in many parts of this game, you, you interrogate ghosts, and you're only allowed to ask three questions but that's all right I mean what what you know it doesn't really matter what three questions you ask but uh, some of some ghosts you are not allowed to get past them until you give them an object from your inventory you know usually you have to combine many of the objects and here you see I'm moving through this uh, hidden object puzzle right here fairly fast and like I said this is a very easy casual game uh, you will go through it fairly fast so you'll probably want to play it more than one time there is also a few mini games in this game here and uh, but they're skippable so if you're not into the mini game part you can skip them like one of the mini games involve cracking a safe and if you're not into that 
then you know you can just skip a, skip it along. Uh, some people like the little mini games. They they add those into this just as a little extra, I believe. But they're not mandatory. Thankfully, your inventory is rather small, so if you have to combine an object, you know, I mean, it's just a matter of time before you hit the right combination. But thankfully, it's very logical. You'll, you'll probably get it on the first try. You know, it, like you know, it's not hard. And uh, it, it, this game is is designed to just kick back and enjoy at your you know at your own leisure. You know, there's no rush to finish the game and, and uh, enjoy all the fine scenery and fine sound effects and of course the story as well and as you see as you I've collected all the hidden objects in the game it moves us along to the next part here you're also going to want to read all the written text to make sure that you don't miss anything and thankfully you can re refer back to the book at any time and here's what I was talking about earlier you're allowed to ask three questions and it doesn't seem to matter what three questions you ask. Uh, I, I don't believe you're given any advantage, but there is a point system in this game, so it is possible that you might get extra points for asking the correct questions. So you'll know what to do. If for some reason you did get stuck, uh, you are allowed some hints in this game. And uh, you can collect the ravens, and if you click on the raven, he'll fly to where you need to click. And, you know, it's, it, it's just for if you get stuck, but the chances of getting stuck are pretty slim, and uh, it's, it's very self-explanatory. I'm not going to play too much of this game because I do not want to ruin the mystery for you. Because the, the story to this game is a very good story, and it will keep you intrigued through the entire game to the very end. And it's mysterious enough that you'll, be, you'll, you'll keep guessing through the entire story. And here we're back to the uh, hidden object part of the game, and that's the biggest part of, of uh, Salem Witch Trials and a lot of the mumbo jumbo games. That's what they're famous for, the hidden object game. And uh, here I, I didn't even uh, select any objects. I just wanted you to look around and look at the little spooky guy. But all you need to do is just look at the graphics, listen to the sound effects to uh, really get a feel for the game. You know, that's why I make these types of reviews. So you can see actual gameplay and not some uh, pumped up version for, you know, advertisers. You know, this is so you can see everything in its full glory. And here we are back at the main menu and it has a lot of uh, cool extras as well. I love when game makers add these little extra parts to the game so you can see the development. And here, you, as you can see, the evolution going from sketch to render to the final scene and it just shows how much work was put into this game you know it's quite amazing and uh, obviously a uh, an amazing artist and here you can also see some of the future scenes in the game and they're just quite stunning uh, 17th century Salem it's very very spooky of course and the people I mean there's really uh, mo most of the uh, contacts in this game are ghosts so uh, of course that's an extra spooky element to it and this is the panic room and this allows you to uh, rewatch scenes through the game so you might want to skip this if you don't want any spoilers this this allows you to see the different scenes that pop up through the game as you play the little reward for solving a puzzle and such but as you can see how spooky they are and it really adds a whole new dimension to the game and I'm just going to play a few for you here. I don't want to spoil it too badly. Because the, the story is an awesome story, as I mentioned earlier. And you're definitely going to want to enjoy it yourself and not have any spoilers. And now we're going to take a look at some of the deleted scenes. And it's, it's quite amazing they deleted these scenes because they're very beautiful. I, I see why they put them in the extra content part. I mean, just just look how stunning they are. And uh, I guess they felt they weren't up to speed, weren't up to par to go into the game. Or maybe just didn't fit in with the game itself. And uh, it's quite amazing that they deleted such fine work. But it happens. It happens in game development. And... Uh, here you can see the uh, obvious, you know, research that went into the game. And 
uh, and uh, believe it or not, uh, this game offers a full walkthrough in case you just want to just go through the game at full speed and not have to worry about the puzzles in any manner whatsoever. So, yeah, so you have a walkthrough to get uh, right here built into the game to get you through in case you get really stuck or uh, just want to breeze through it real fast. So with that, I'm going to wrap this quick review up of Midnight Mysteries, The Salem Witch Trials. It's a very awesome game. Uh, you really should pick it up if you're looking for something casual, something offbeat, something to play while you're waiting for your wife to get ready for dinner. That, that's the type of game this is. Mom would like it. Dad would like it. And it's, it's, it's a very good game. You would like it, too. So with that, this is The Gamer Down, and I am your host, Dark Hostess. Please subscribe and thumbs up videos you like. Thanks again.